Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we placed the object a distance of 8 centimeters away from the boundary between the water and the glass rod, and we found that the image was found on the same side as the object at minus 18.46 centimeters, or 18.46 centimeters in front of the boundary. Now, when we had the glass rod in air, that was not the case. When the object was placed at 8 centimeters, the image appeared inside the glass rod. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put a second object at a distance of 4 centimeters and a third object at a distance of 20 centimeters to see what will happen in each case. We will also calculate the magnification so we can see how that works as well. So starting with the object, object 2, at a distance of 4 centimeters, using our equation right here, we have n1 over s, n1 being 1.33. So 1.33 over s, in this case s is going to be 4 centimeters plus index of refraction of the glass, 1.5 over s prime, is going to be equal to n2 minus n1, which is 1.5 minus 1.33, all divided by the radius of curvature, which is a positive 2 centimeters. All right, so what we need to do now is solve for s prime. So we get 1.5 over s prime is equal to, this will be 0.17, divided by 2 minus 1.33 divided by 4. The common denominator is 4, so we have 1.5 over s prime being equal to 0 0.34 over 4 minus 1.33 over 4, which is equal to 0 0.99 over 4, and the minus in front of that because this is bigger than that. Well, it looks like, again, we're going to get a negative result, which means that Again, the image is going to be on the same side as the object. So s prime over 1.5 is equal to a negative 4 over 0 0.99. If we take that to be close enough to 1, we can then multiply this times 1.5. So we have s prime is equal to about minus 6. So what we see here is that as the object moves closer to the boundary, so does the image. The image now will be about here, so this is image 2. But notice it's still on the same side as the object. So what can we do now? How about if we put the, the object now really far away at a distance of 20 centimeters, and let's see what happens in this case. So we're going to recalculate the position of the image with the object at 20 centimeters. So n1 over s, n1 being 1.33, so 1.33 over 20 plus 1.5 over s prime is equal to 1.5 minus 1.33 over the radius of curvature. So 1.5 over s prime is equal to 0 0.17 divided by 2 minus 1.33 divided by 20. Notice the common denominator this time is 20, so that becomes 1.5 over s prime is equal to 1.7 over 20 minus 1.33 over 20. And you can see that now we're going to get a positive result. A positive result for s prime means the, the image will now be on the other side of the boundary inside the glass rod. Finishing up, 1.5 over s prime is equal to 1.7 minus this will be uh, 0 0.37 over 20. I believe that's correct. Yes, that will be. And that means s prime is equal to 20 over 0 0.37 multiplied times 1.5. So that's 30 divided by 0.37. And where's my calculator? Right here. So 30 divided by 0.37, that ends up being 81.08, 81.08 centimeters. So it's inside the rod, really far away. There is I3 at a distance of S3 prime being equal to a positive 81.08 centimeters. So that's this distance into the rod. Now, what about the magnification? In the case of um, I2, right here, so we can say in the case of I2, the magnification is equal to minus S prime over S. Here, S prime is going to be N1. This is going to be N2. So this becomes equal to minus N1 
is 1.33 times s prime which is in this case s prime was 4 all divided by n2 which is 1.5 and s was let's see here s prime oh be careful this is s prime s prime was equal to where am i right here for the second object was minus 6 and s here becomes a positive force this minus will cancel out this minus so this becomes equal to well let's get a calculator 1.33 times 6 divided by 6 wow that's 1.33 I didn't even see that that's easy enough so it became a positive 1.33 for the magnification this is the magnification of the second image relative to the second object and doing the magnification of the third image that's going to be minus n1 s prime over n2s and so in this case that would be equal to a minus 1.33 s prime notice is now going to be a positive 81.08 divided by n2 which is 1.5 divided by s in this case we place it 20 centimeters away so now we do need a calculator for this 1.33 times 81.08 divided by 1.5 and divided by 20 and we get a magnification of 2.7 but it's going to be negative negative 2.7 which means that in this case so this is magnification for 2 that means in this case the image is going to be upside down but 2.7 times larger than the object here the image is going to be the same uh, orientation as the object about 33 percent larger and notice that we only have an image on the other side of the boundary in the case that we place the object far enough away from the boundary. So otherwise, any object close by to the boundary here with a glass rod water interface, you're going to have an image on the same side as the object. When you put the object far away, you're going to have an image inside the rod. And that's how it's done.